All right, so this slide really is the most important slide of everything you're seeing today. It's tying together what you heard, learned about last time in terms of air pressure and connecting that with the width. So let's start here where these clouds are. We've got this area of high pressure. It's very cool. It's all those penguins are close together. That high pressure. Well, we remember with wind, wind always flows from high to low. So with all that wind, all this high pressure here is going to flow over to this area of low pressure. So it's always going to go from high to low. So down here on the ground, there's wind. Wind is blowing from high pressure to low pressure. And that low pressure is nice and warm. And all the penguins are all excited, but as it's warm, it's less dense. So because it's less dense, that warm air is going to rise up high. So we got all these big pile of warm air rising. And then, but as it rises, then it cools down. So it more is this, it's not getting the heat from the surface of the earth anymore. It cools down. So now that cool air is going to blow over to an area of low pressure. We're going to have this cycle go around and around again. We've got this cool air. It's going and blowing. The wind is going from high to low. And then that low warm air rises. And that cooling air is going to sink over and over and over again in an amazing convection current.